Hey guys, I'm really excited to dive into this video, but before we start, I just want to let y'all know that this game is rated M for Mature. It has some strong language, suggestive themes, and some other stuff. Just want to let y'all know before you watch this video, just in case you don't want to hear any of that. But if y'all are all set, let's go ahead and dive into this video. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and today we're going to get an exclusive look at Firewatch. Now, this is just a preview build before the game officially comes out. February 9th, which is just a couple days away, but it's a, just a quick look at what's to come, and I thought it'd just be cool to give you all a quick glimpse. Now, this is running on my PC, which is not the best specced out device on the planet, so it's going to be a little buggy, it's going to be a little slow, but it still gives us a pretty good look at what we're going to be able to see. So as you can see, not up to par, but once we finally get the final release, it'll look much sharper, much clearer much better less lag free and everything like that <clears throat> i mean honestly just give me a much smoother experience once we finally get it now this game is going to be out on pc mac and ps4 and it's ba made by the people over at campo santo really cool developer team um really excited to see what this game's going to kind of come out to be when in its final complete version like i said this is a preview version just for a couple streamers and stuff like that so it may have a couple bugs so don't take this as the final version but once it, we actually get the full release in just a couple days we'll get the final product and we'll be able to kind of see what we think but it's a really cool game it's really heavily narrative based as we'll see in just a second once we kind of get off to the beginning but this is pretty much day zero you could say this is just the intro to the game as you can see beautiful wyoming wilderness i mean it's just listening to the serene quietness the the crickets and everything it's just really cool so here we go this is going to be our little watchtower and this is based off a couple people who are the fire watch for this park in wyoming so we're about to get to the first kind of touch of narrative and we'll be off to the races so this is our humble abode our little house our apartment Hello, two, four, and tower. it looks like we're about to kind of start talking to our friend over the other watchtower so let's go ahead and grab the radio and let's get going um hello whoever this is it's henry right yeah i'm delilah yeah that's what the guy said on the phone so, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, so at this point, when I'm looking at my options to say, honestly, whatever I say, I'm probably going to end up taking shots. So, pretty crazy stuff. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Yikes. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. There you have it. The introduction to Firewatch. Really cool. I'm pretty excited to see where this takes us because this is gonna we're gonna go ahead and just start off with day one. So this is pretty much the first chapter of the story. And they said that this game is pretty much since it's very heavily driven by the story, it's gonna be broken into separate chapters, which are gonna be kind of called the days. So we're about to dive into day one. Now I'm gonna pretty much try to go through the majority of the beginning. We're gonna fast through a little bit because there's a lot of walking. You get to really explore nature, explore the woods, and see what this has to offer. There's a lot to see and a lot to do. But I don't want to spend too much time when I'm just kind of wandering around trying to get my bearings. But here we go. We're about to dive into the very beginning. Here we go. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, 
Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Oops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Big got language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Crazy kids out there shooting off fireworks. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Gotta love it. Secure. Shut up. Alright, so we are off into the wild Wyoming wilderness. So at this point, Honestly, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm probably just going to head down this path and try to make my way towards the fireworks. So I do know one thing is that it's pretty much in the westward, westward direction. So I can follow my compass, follow my map. And it, the map at first, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. But as you kind of go on, you learn more and more about like kind of how to use the map, how to kind of traverse the trails and everything like that. So this little sign right here, it actually kind of points in the direction to the lake. So Jonesy Lake, that's where we're trying to head. So it's a nice little guide and it'll get we get us where we need to go. But one thing that we need to actually do before we go to the lake is find that supply crate box. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it is, something like that. But there we can get the rope and kind of whatever else is in there. So these crates are pretty much going to be a good source to find new tools. Uh, food, whatever it may be, notes, um, updates for the map. So I actually found this. Um, <clears throat> in each crate, it looks like it looks like there's a map which will give you certain directions that you can add to your own map, which will help you kind of learn the wilderness a little bit better, figure out the proper trails and things like that, and give you little waypoints and stuff like that. So they're very useful and yeah, pretty sweet. So I'm not going to lie, the graphics are a little laggy, so I do apologize for that guys, but I wanted you guys to give you just a quick look and see what kind of expected everything. So it's a little slow, but once we get it, the frame rate will be a million times better, and maybe the graphics will be a little bit better. So something to look forward to when we actually get the full version, but it's just a quick sneak peek. So we're still heading down the trail here, and we're getting pretty darn close to this crate. I know that for a fact. It should be just around this corner, I believe. So there it is, right there. In the beautiful sunlight in the little meadow. Gotta love it. Let's go sprint on over. Just haul. Alright, so the supply cache, is that what it is? I found the supply box. Great. Alright, let's put in the passcode. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Swag. So as you can see, we have our rope pine cone. And that's that map I was talking about. So it has a couple of things written on it. And we're actually able to kind of copy that information onto our own map. And just kind of utilize it when we're kind of roaming around the wilderness and trying to figure some stuff out. So that's really nice to have. There's a little note there, but I didn't read it this time around. But maybe we can go back and check it later. But there's the old rope. And then we got a granola bar in there and a pine cone. Don't know, really know it. I'm not really sure what you use the pine cone for, but it's there for whatever reason. Could probably carry it around and just kind of throw it or something, but I'm gonna go against that. But we have a granola bar. Might as well eat it. You know, why not? YOLO. But now we're off to the lake to find these perpetrators. 
All right, for, some, for the next couple of seconds, we're just going to kind of speed it up a little bit and try to get to the lake really quick. So we'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Found the home base. People getting a little crazy over here. All right, let's keep making our way over to the lake. Go find these perpetrators. Do -do 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Just keep on cruising, cruising. The campfire. Stop that out. Well, I put out the fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Found the fireworks. Probably just take these, keep them safe, you know. Don't want them shooting off anymore. So we're slowly going to make our way over to the lake here and go kind of tell these guys, or girls, I guess. Looks like, <laughs> from the looks of it. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Yeah, but we're just pretty much going to go tell them to, uh go away and politely stop shooting off fireworks because it's a fire hazard but from here on out guys basically we're just going to talk to the girls um tell them to go away and then we're going to try to head back to the fire watch because we just got to get back home before the sun sets found them in the lake naked skinny dipping yeah is that a guy over there so oh boy <laughs> enjoy dealing with that all right so i'm going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of this really quick and we're just going to kind of start heading off back after our conversation and head back. Alright, so really quick, just in case any of y'all are wondering, um, in order to kind of get back to the firewatch, you're going to have to go back to the beach, and instead of going back the way you came, you're going to go left towards, I want to say, Thunder Canyon. So that's the way you're going to head back. And you're going to work your way all the way back through the canyon to a little cave, and that's going to pretty much get you on the path back to the Firewatch Tower. So that's going to pretty much be your main focus. So we're just going to kind of make our way through here, get to the cave, and then we'll kind of just keep working our way from there. All right, so let's quickly go ahead and just kind of cruise on through Thunder Canyon or Valley or something. I should probably check the map. Eh, it's fine. It's all good. But yeah, we're just going to kind of cruise on through here, and we're about to come on to another supply cache here. So inside here, we're actually going to find another map. We can copy some more information from that. Type in our trusted passcode, 1234, of course. And then there's also a flashlight in here and some deer antlers. You know, pretty low-key. Nothing too crazy. But after this, I'm going to go ahead and quickly kind of get through the cave again. And then we'll, from there, we're just going to start heading our way back home. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the fast forwarding now because I feel like this is right, pretty so nothing too crazy. Part but we're gonna go ahead and fast forward now. This is part. basically get back up to the fire watch and flashlight. Just kind of chilling out here in the wilderness, kind of random. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to the uh, dialogue really quick. But here we go. Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me.
Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own, and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. All right, guys, so we're going to go and stop there at day two and just kind of call it a day for this episode and kind of leave it until the official game releases. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really do hope you enjoyed this preview, and I can't wait to bring you guys the actual complete full game. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.